In 2014, the Donbas has started uh, fighting for its right to speak their own language, to defend their homeland. They have overcome the blockade and uh, they have uh, always been under attack. And the, you all know very well that we have done everything we could, really everything we could, in order to make sure that this problem could be solved with peaceful means. We have uh, negotiated in order to solve this difficult conflict, but another scenario unfolded. Uh, the uh, Western leaders have uh, decided not to give peace to the Donbass region, and they have lied. They have dragged their feet. They have closed their eyes on the political murders, the repressions of uh, the regime against uh, people. And I can say that before the special military operation was started, we have first started to negotiate and we have seen um, more and more military equipment being delivered there. And uh, we have also seen that uh, the Nazi regime wants to get uh, nuclear weapons. The United States and uh, the West have set up their military bases around us, all around us, and they have developed a theater of future military action. And they have used the Ukraine to prepare for a large war. They are publicly admitting to that solution, but everybody played against us and uh, they have used uh, lies. It was an awful method of uh, deceit and those people have uh, done the same in the West, in Yugoslavia, in uh, Libya, in Syria. It is a shame that is on them. They are not genuine. They are not behaving in an orderly manner. They have uh, got used to the fact that they can do everything they can. They can look down on the whole world. They even uh, do the same to their own people. They are cynical. They lie to them. And uh, they have always talked to their own people that uh, they try to find a peaceful solution in the Security Council. The, the Western leaders have turned into a totalitarian regime. We are going not only to defend our own interests, but also our position that in the contemporary world there should not be a division between the so-called civilized countries and the rest. We want a true partnership and we do not want aggression and exclusive rights only for some. We are very open to a constructive dialogue. No country in the world has as many military bases in the world as the United States. There are hundreds of these bases located everywhere. The whole planet is filled with such bases. It's enough to look at a map. They have even uh, declined and uh, denounced the uh, disarmament treaties. They have, in a, un in a one sided manner, done everything they can to get out of these agreements. And uh, in December 2021, we have officially sent draft treaties to the United States, to NATO, draft treaties about a security treaty. But we have been not received positively. It became clear that uh, they have aggressive plans and they're not going to stop such aggressive plans. More and more threats were coming up. We have uh, received more and more information that in 2022 it was everything ready to have a, an action in the Donbas. In 2014, the, the Ukrainian government started, started to send to the Donbas artillery and uh, 
military airplanes. We have all seen the attacks committed in uh, Donbas. We have seen it everywhere. In 2015, once again, they have taken uh, an attempt to attack the Donbas. They have uh, exercised terror against the peaceful population. All of that was accepted by the uh, security Council. Everybody pretended nothing is happening though, there, although we proposed resolutions to be taken. It was them who started the war. We have used our force in order to stop them. Our own ho home. The West has already spent 150 billion uh, dollars in order to uh, arm the Kiev regime. And uh, as far as the G7 assistance to the third world is concerned, they have just spent 60 million dollars in order to help the poorest country. 150 billion for the war. And for the poorest countries that are getting forgotten, they just get 60. So what does that mean? Should those countries receiving uh, development assistance uh, be genuine and loyal? Where is the money going? But the flow of money for the war is not ending. And uh, the West also supports uh, coup d'etats all around the world. In, during the terms that are used by, were used by the Nazis. They use uh, the uh, insignia of Wehrmacht. So they clearly show what their legacy is, the legacy they believe in. It is a miracle that the West is not understanding this, not wanting to see it. Why not? Because they don't care. They don't care. They just want to have a battle against us, against Russia. It is important for the West only to win against our nation. And we have seen it. Uh, and they use neo-Nazis and use terrorists uh, and everyone they can get in order to set their arms against Russia. The anti-Russian uh, project is a policy against our own country. They want to saw conflict in the 30s of the last centuries they did it and they do it again their only meaning is to be aggressive against the east they wage a war a proxy war we do not fight against the nation the ukrainian people the uh, ukrainian people have become hostages of their regime and the west the economic and military means for decades they have destroyed the ukrainian uh, industry they have stolen the resources uh, they have allowed a social degradation to happen there is poverty in such situations, of course, we can say that people were not prepared for all of that. And uh, these people in the Ukraine, uh, they are just hostages uh, and they are being used for the profit of others. Uh, the West is guilty of this escalation. This Western elites have a guilt to bear. At the same time, also the Ukrainian uh, regime is guilty. This regime serves the interests of third countries. The West uses uh, Ukraine as a fortress against Russia. I cannot uh, tell you everything that the West is doing in order to uh, step up military deliveries, but one thing is very clear to all of you. The longer the West is going to act in the Ukraine, the longer we will be forced to avert danger approaching our borders. <coughs> 
Elite is up the the elites of the West do not hide their goals. They would exert a blow against Russia. They want to have a strategic defeat of Russia. What does that mean? What does it mean for us? It means they want to have no more anything to do with Russia. They want to have a global resistance against Russia. This is what we understand very clearly. And and logically, we are going to respond to that. Of course, uh, we are talking about the existence of our country, the very existence. But the West uh, does not understand. It is not possible to win a war against uh, Russia on the battlefield. And that is why they also wage an information war. Of course, they target the young generation in the first place. And here again, they are constantly lying. They are distorting historical facts. They do not stop to attack our religion, our culture, our traditional organizations in the countries. Uh, look what they are doing to their own nations. They destroy families. They destroy national cultural identities. They educate uh, people, uh, uh, children to become pedophilics. It's a norm of their life. And so, of course, they can do whatever they want at home. What do I want to say? People have the right to live the way they want. Uh, we have always uh, defended this value as well. We are not interfering in the uh, private affairs, in the private life of people. We let them live. It is quite clear that the West is going to try to divide our nation. They use traitors and, of course, traitors are always uh, just inclined to make money and they work for everyone that is uh, willing and ready to pay. This has always been the case. Uh, they are traitors that commit terror acts against the security of our society and they are, will be held responsible. We are not going to uh, bend or go on our knees in front of the Ukrainian regime and the West. We are not going to forgive those who have uh, betrayed their country. It is their responsibility. They must live with this guilt and responsibility. It is important for the Russian people to assess their morals. We are very proud that our national unit